Defective Law Education in India and Fake Degrees of Indian Lawyers One of the main reasons for the dismal performance of the Indian judiciary is the defective education of lawyers and judges who take degrees from third-rated law colleges and universities. Moreover, many advocates practice in courts with fake degrees. Although the degrees and certificates of judges can also be fake, the judicial authorities take action only against quack advocates. In 2023, the Supreme Court ordered to form a committee under a former Justice Deepak Gupta to oversee the verification process of law practice certificates and educational degrees of over 25 lakh lawyers in the country. The top court observed that the verification is required to streamline the administration of justice. However, even after a year, the lawyers with fake qualifications have not been identified and removed from the system. Reports quote the findings of the Bar Council of India, BCI, to reveal that 30% of all lawyers in India are fake, holding fraudulent law degrees. As a result, such unqualified lawyers provide only template-based routine services to uneducated clients and fail to handle the cases which require professional acumen. Today, over 2 million or 20 lakh advocates operate in different courts of India. But the majority of them are not properly qualified to handle court cases. They lack language skills, soft skills, presentation skills, and also lack knowledge of law. Since judges are also not quite competent, the entire judicial system is plagued with reserved decisions, order delays, random judgments, and wrong verdicts. While lawyers do not understand the content subtleties and their writing skills are pathetic, they write loose English in the court documents such as petitions and responses that cover reams of papers. The judges are equally unskilled as they do not read papers submitted in courts and most judgments are based on verbal arguments presented in courts. This is a totally Wrong approach to decide the fate of a case as most lawyers are not able to articulate their thoughts verbally in courts. The use of hyperlinked digital documents can overcome the problem of bulky paperwork, but there is no provision to submit hyperlinked documents and judges are not trained to read documents on their computers. They first take printouts of digital documents such as PDF files and then try to read them. But once a digital document is printed, it loses its hyperlinks. Since the Indian judiciary is working in an undeveloped environment, the lawyers and judges are not ready to handle cases that come from the emerging areas of crime. For example, the increasing use of artificial intelligence, AI, and particularly the generative AI, to create content raises significant legal and business concerns. But there is hardly any discussion or research in the Indian legal circles around this new topic, as the judiciary, which is struggling to introduce the rudimentary technology in courts, is clueless about contemporary tech developments. Cybercrimes and cyber threats are among the other areas that need attention of the judicial authorities and law institutes, which are teaching only obsolete subjects to students. Similarly, the copyright laws need to be drastically changed as the old laws are not suitable for the digital or new media universe. The developed law enforcement agencies in other countries are exploring ways to prosecute crimes such as gang rapes that are happening in the metaverse, cryptocurrency scams, the use of virtual assets in money laundering crimes, transfers of crypto assets in major financial offenses, money mulling, and so on. However, the Indian courts, including the Supreme Court, are not equipped to discuss such cases in the courtrooms. These are the excerpts from the latest India Judicial Research Report, 2024, Decline of the Indian Judiciary. This research report has been compiled and produced by Rakesh Raman, who is a national award-winning journalist and founder of the humanitarian organization RMN Foundation. While Rakesh Raman has worked at senior editorial positions, 
He was writing an exclusive edit page column for the Financial Express, which is the business newspaper of the Indian Express Group. He has also worked with the United Nations, UN, through the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, as a digital media expert. You can check out the links given under this video and subscribe to the RMN YouTube channel to get more information on law and justice systems.